Morning, it's so great to have you on this Monday. I'm Lynn Smith. This is On The Story. And remember this image? It's one that just will not go away. Jet fuel just raining down on elementary school children on a playground. Well, now teachers plan to sue. But first, our top story this morning, a security guard in Kansas City being credited with taking down the gunman who police say started shooting outside a club. It was just hours after the Chiefs clinched a spot in the Super Bowl. Lots of people were out partying. Watch. At 12 p.m. Eastern time. His attorney, though, is not really acknowledging how shocking the video is. Yeah, and the attorney. So, Joey, he's going to be sentenced on 46 counts. I mean, 46 counts, that's a lot. Yeah, but there's also this medical fraud Joey was talking about. What are you learning about that? I think that's worse. And Joey yeah. will. Drexel University in Philadelphia accused of spending $185,000 in grant money on strippers, iTunes card, Delta Airlines after one of their planes dumped fuel over five elementary schools. All of this was in. And here's the simple truth. People in Puerto Rico need help desperately. Maybe you've donated. Do you know where your money went? Some are furious to learn life-saving supplies have just been sitting in a warehouse. It was actually just discovered this weekend. There's an investigation into how this could have happened because there are hundreds of people in shelters, completely homeless, who are telling CNN they just aren't getting the basic necessities after this latest round of deadly quakes. People abusing positions of power are as old as politics, but in this case, people's lives literally hang in the balance. That's the simple truth.